Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we're doing IXL T5 which is finding the volume of certain prisms and cylinders. Okay so uh, like I say to all my students the internet is a wonderful resource. I just typed in uh, volume formulas and all of these pictures came up with all the the formula uh, formulas for certain shapes uh, certain prisms for volume and so I have this one right here to kind of help me through. Okay, and so here uh, we are asked to find the volume of this uh, triangular prism right here. And how we do that, we go over here, we'll go to our triangular prism, just base times height times the length, you know how long it goes, and then divided by two. Okay, so we'll do that. And that is just going to be nine times 10 times 10 over 2. So 9 times 10 is 90. 90 times 10 is 900. So 900 over 2. And then half of 900 is just 450. So the volume is going to be 450. And that's all there is to it. Okay, 450. Good. Okay, now we are back to a cube right here. So a cube is just going to be base times the width times the height. So 8 times 8 times 8. I'll go to a calculator here. I'll type in 8 times 8 times 8. And that's going to be 512. So we'll come back to 512. Correct. Okay, we have a cylinder here. Let's go to our volume equations. The cylinder is going to be pi r squared h. Okay. And it looks like it wants us to use 3.14 for pi. Go over here, go over here. Okay, so again, volume was pi times r squared h. And remember, uh, area and volume are separated by one dimension. So the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared, right? And then we're adding the third dimension of height. This is like a 3D circle, right? So pi r squared times the height, and that's going to be your volume, our third dimension there. It's just something to think about. So we'll go 3.14. The radius of the circle is 5 feet, so times 5 squared. And then times the height, which is 5. So we'll go back. 5. So we'll go back to our calculator and go 5 times 5 times 5 times 3.14. That's 392.5. So we'll go back and do 392.5. And there we go. Okay. So you're just going to, do a, uh, going to be doing volume for all these shapes. 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. Okay. We have another cylinder here. Remember to use the radius, so half of the diameter there. That's going to be 4 squared, so 4 times 4 times 11 times 3.14. So we're going to go 4 times 4 times 11, which is the height, times 3.14. That is going to be 552.6 to 552.62. Is that correct? Five two six four six four. Okay, submit. Good. Okay, so you get the idea. Twenty times five is one hundred. One hundred times nine is going to be nine hundred. Okay, so if you have the formulas, these are all pretty much going to be easy for you. Okay, so once you get to at least a smart score of sixty, it looks like they give you the volume of your shape, and so then you have to figure out what the missing part is. So this one says the volume of this triangular prism is 110 centimeters cubed. What is C? What is going to be your base here? So remember the volume is going to be the base times the height of your triangle times the length of the prism all over 2. Okay. Now we have 110 as our volume already, so I'm going to plug that in for V. Then equals our base, which is C, times H. The height is going to be 4 times the length, which is 11, all over 2. Okay, now let's find C. So we'll multiply both sides by 2. 
2 times 110 is 220 equals those cancel out. C times 4 times 11. Okay. You can combine the 4 and 11. So 4 times 11 is 44. So 20 equals 44C. And then lastly, to get C by itself, you're going to divide both sides by 44. So what is 220 divided by 44? That is going to be 5. Okay. So we're going to go back to C, and C is going to be 5. And there we have it. G times G times G. This is a cube, meaning all of the lengths of the sides are going to be the same. So the volume is 1. So what is going to be the, uh, the value of G? So 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. So that one's going to be 1. OK, you get the idea. I'm going to skip again. Same deal. I'm going to skip again. So you get, again, double digits or um, some numbers with decimals in them, and then up to 94. And uh, just like with the last IXL, they give you word problems. So they say you have a triangular prism that is 6.4 yards long, triangular face with a height of 2.2, and they already give you the volume. What is the base? OK, so we'll go back here. Okay, the picture is no big deal. Um, let's write down the equation for volume. V equals the base times the height times the length all over 2. Okay, and what's important? Uh, 6.4 yards long, height of 2.2 yards, and the volume overall is 22.938, or 36. So that's going to be our volume. So we're going to plug that in for V. 23.936 equals the base. Uh, note is asking for the base, so we don't know what the base is yet. So base times the height. The height is 2.2 times the length. The length is 6.4 yards long, then all divided by 2. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 here. 2 times 23.936 is going to be 47.872 equals B times 2.2 times 6.4. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump up to my calculator and type in the number which was 47.872 and then do divided by 2.2 and divided by 6.4 and that is going to equal 3.4 so B is going to equal 3.4 so we'll go back to IXL. We'll do 3.4. And there we have it. OK, so that is where I'm going to stop the video. Just use the formulas, and they will carry you pretty much the entire way. Try to do your work on paper so it's easier to set up those algebraic expressions. So stay safe, study hard, and I will catch you later for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.